Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I love Loopy's Crochet and Treasures. Uh, my name is Tracy. Uh, I want to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. Um, I'm from Alabama and I love crocheting. And um, so I just want to welcome you and I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you stay and I want to thank all the ones who always come back and watch. I want to thank you all so much. Uh, I love making new yarny friends. And um, this is like the third time I've tried to upload a video and my camera keeps going off on me. It was saying my storage was full or something. I tried deleting it and then I come back and thought, well, it's fixed. But anyway, I had gotten some happy mail, so I've already opened it uh, and I can't go back and edit anything. So, but I'm going to share everything that I started out sharing on my other videos. Um, and I hope I don't get confused of what I've said and what I haven't said. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I need to learn how to edit and all that stuff. But uh, I have a yarny sister that's been on my channel for quite a while. And she has uh, recently started her own YouTube channel. Her name is Brittany and she's from Alabama. And uh, her the name of her uh, YouTube channel is Wool Makes. And uh, so if y'all will give her a, a go over and check her out. I'm going to try to leave everything in this description box and she also has the Etsy shop and um, on one of her last videos I saw where she uh, had made these little wallet she sews and she made these little wallet keychain wallets and so I bought two of them and I gave my daughter my youngest daughter one hers has got like the red white and blue uh, stars and stuff like that on it and then I kept the Alabama one because I'm an Alabama fan. But I'm going to tell y'all, she done an awesome job on these. It's just really professional looking. And the zipper, she did an awesome job. And you have a place to put your driver's license, your credit cards, your debit cards, and all of that in there, or your money. And so, y'all check out her Etsy shop. They're very reasonably priced, and her shipping is very quick. Um... She put a card in there, too, thanking me for my order, and it says, Your kindness is such a blessing, and it's a real pretty card. Uh, and on the inside, it says, And so are you. Thank you so much. And she's not only a yarny sister, she's a, a sister in Christ. And so, y'all check her out. Uh, she she um, sells patterns, because she, she makes her own crochet patterns and stuff, and beautiful, beautiful items. So, check her out. Also, I got, oh, I want to show y'all my shirt before I forget. I uh, ordered me this shirt, which is a little snug on me, from Bonnie Bay Crochet's Teespring store. And uh, it's got Bonnie Bay Crochet right here. And then up here it says, Key to Happiness. And it's got like your chain stitches, your half double crochets, all that down through there. But I really love it. So yeah, I'll try to leave a um, link to her. And, uh, but I just love this top. It's so nice. I might should have got it. I think this is the extra large. I guess I should have got a 2X. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to not dry it when I wash it. But I really love my shirt. Also, I got some happy mail from Cindy Moulter. And she has a YouTube channel. And she is uh, a very sweet lady. And I, I always look forward to her videos. And the name of her channel is Cindy Cindy Moulter. I hope I'm saying your last name right, Cindy. But thank you so much for my happy mail. Um, as I said, I opened it in my other video I was making that just quit on me. Uh, but she sent me some yarny goodness, y'all. And a real pretty card. Um, and this is uh, so cute. I was so excited. But I've done seen it now because I did it, you know, in the other video. But I was so excited and I love it all. And it said this is one of those times when saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. And you open it up and it says thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it says how's that? And uh, so and she wrote me a very cute note. And she is one of my favorite YouTubers. I always look forward to her videos. And so thank you, Cindy, so much for my happy mail. Y'all, she sent me three heart, Lime Brand Heartland. And she knows my colors, that I like mustards and golds and yellows. And this color is called Yellowstone. She sent me three of them. 
and it's got 251 yards on each one. Look at that. Beautiful yarny goodness. Thank you, Cindy, so much. It just blesses me that you thought about me to send me all this. And she sent me this, this hygge yarn. And um, that's pretty. You know, these would go really good together. So maybe make me a, a top and put this down around the bottom, the color or something. I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. But this is a bulky five. And it's got... Um, see it's got 132 yards on it and this color is aloe so she sent me that and then she sent me some real pretty blue tissue paper which i can always use you know i have an etsy shop too and uh so thank you cindy and if y'all don't know cindy y'all go i'm gonna put a link to her youtube channel down below this video and y'all go check her out because you'll really love her she's she's a very very sweet lady I love her channel. She's got a wonderful personality. Thank you, Cindy, so much. I was so excited when my husband come in and said, you got happy mail. And then I looked and it was from Cindy and I was so excited. So thank you, Cindy, so much. And um, I also wanted to show y'all, I went to, I love going to thrift stores uh, and finding treasures. And so I went to the thrift store and I know I'm probably seem like I'm rushing, but if I make a 15 minute video, like I said before, it takes me two or three hours to upload it. So I hope I'm not like rushing through here real quick. But I got all this stuff at the in this bag for six dollars, which my um, oldest daughter she cross stitches, so I'm gonna give her these suits and things that were in there. Um, there was that one and this one. And a small one. But, and then this. This is so neat. It is, uh, you can put your pattern on this. And it has magnets that, um, that you can put your pattern on there and, and mark it where you're at and everything. It says, ideal for tracking cross stitch and needlepoint charts as well as knitting and crochet instructions. Magnet guides help you to easily keep your place in your patterns. But ain't that neat? That was in there. Oh, here's another hoop. And y'all, I'm going to try to start knitting. I'm going to start out with dish rags. But I think I'm going to try to start knitting. And look at all these knitting needles that was in there. I mean, it was a bunch of them. And um, that one's still in the little wrapper. And then it had a latch hook, which I hadn't done that in a long, long time. A couple of measuring tapes. It has uh, some thread in there. Um, and then it has crochet hooks. It has one, two, three, four, five, six crochet hooks. Um, it has an I and an F. And a G and a J, another I, and a five or another L. So it had all those in there. Boy is uh, on some of them, and then Susan Bates is on one. And so all those was in there, and then all the neat knitting needles that come in different sizes, like six. And then the blue ones are um, sevens, and the red ones are ten and a halfs, and these are eights. Um, oh, here's another crochet hook, a G, and then these are eight. So look, y'all, maybe I'll have the right size to start out making dish rags. But I got this whole bag for $6, so I thought that was awesome. And um, I like it when I find stuff like that. It just tickles me. And uh, so I'm going to have to give my oldest daughter those little um, hoops. And then they had this big animal cracker, Stauffer's animal cracker 
It's like a little bear, but it is full of jewelry, y'all. Just full of earrings, bracelets, beads. I hadn't really went through here to see what all was in here. But I got this whole container for $15, which I thought was a good deal. Um, but look at all that stuff down in there. A bunch of jewelry and beads and things. So I thought, well, that would just be fun just to get it and go through it. And, it, and I've been through some of it. And it's nice. It's got some nice stuff in there. Look how pretty that is with the little birds on it. I guess you can see it. It's hard to tell if you can or not. It's got pretty little birds on there. So I can't wait to pour this out and really go through there and see what all I got. But I found those at the thrift store. And um, let's see. Also, I got my knit crate. Um... Bad Mimi will love this orange, but it's it says it's pigment, and it's thirty five percent cotton, nineteen percent linen. Uh, wait, I messed up. It's thirty four percent cotton, thirty five percent linen, nineteen percent lyle cell, and eleven percent nylon. It's three hundred and fifty one yards. All dang wools. Very pretty. It's like a chain spun. We used to get our knit crates in boxes, but now they put them in this, these bags. And, um, but, you know, I'm not affiliated with knit crate or anything. I, I just have a subscription to it. I buy it. I pay for it with my own money and everything. But, um, this is the little pins. It, they have a little free gift. It's got the little, um, pins on it. Uh, so that was my knit crate. And I also do crochet surprise, but I don't think I can show you that till after the 5th of July, I think, because I don't want to spoil it for other people, but I really love crochet surprise. Um, let's see, what else? Okay. Um, I, I got these big old things for picking peas or whatever you want to do with them. It, they had them at Hobby Lobby for $2, and I got two of them. But I thought, wow, that's neat. I could put yarn in there. So I got me a couple of those, and they were $2 a piece. Um, let's see. And then I, I crocheted this that Lucy's got on uh, by Bag of Day Crochet Crystal. She made a pocket scarf. And I made mine out of Karen B. Cakes. The, I showed you in my, I think it was my last video where I went to Tuesday morning. And they have the Karen B. Cakes for $3.99. And so this is what I made this out of. And um, I love it. So y'all check out Bagel Day Crochet, which I know all y'all know Crystal from Bagel Day Crochet. She is awesome. And um, but I made this and put my little pockets on there. I don't know if I got it fixed right or not. It's hard to tell. But ain't that cute? I love it. I ain't got much room in here to really show it to y'all. But ain't that a... That's just really cute. I love it. And I'm sure I'll be making more. But, um... Uh, I love the way she did the, uh, I think it was front post double crochets up here at the top. But ain't that pretty, y'all? Let me get it over here closer. Of course, you know, I love these colors. And there's my pocket, which I'm not real good at sewing stuff. But So, I made that. And y'all, excuse me, um, the way I'm dressed with these big old lounging pants I got on. Um, and also I made some of Bagel Day Crochet's, some, some of her, uh, you could use these as dish rags or wash rags, and I made mine out of the cotton from um, Hobie. Um, it's the 8-4 cotton. Um, so, and it's the Bagel Day. And I did three in that pattern, which I'll link in the description box. Um, I did them in the, and then she had this one. It kind of looks like a flower, um, the, the pattern on it, but it's bag o' day. 
And I thought these would be good for wash wash rags because of the, the way they feel. It's nice cotton. And um, so I might use these for, I mean, for wash rags. That's about all the crochet I've done, except I have started on Crystal and Bag of Day crochet. I've started on her, uh, her newest um, top that she's um, put out. So I'll try to link that too in the description box. Also, y'all, I got my, well, I was supposed to, I ordered from uh, Premier Yarn. And um, it took me forever to get it. And don't look like I got very much in here because I know two of them is the mystery bags they, they had on sale um, for $10. And so I got two of them. And uh trying not to touch my mouth, I'm itching. Um, but it was supposed to be delivered um no later than eight o'clock on the nineteenth, eight o'clock that evening, by FedEx. Well it didn't come. And then when I try to track it, it um it it said it was unavailable. And then I tried it through the you know, the postal service and it, couldn't find it so uh, I emailed um, Premier to let them know I hadn't gotten it and um, I couldn't track it or whatever well it comes today in the post office and uh, so I want to share that with y'all I'm kind of excited to see what I got in my mystery boxes because I've been seeing other people um, showing theirs and they put some nice yarn in there. Let me stand up and try to open this without cutting my yarn or anything. Ooh. Now I got some, some yarn. It was on sale. Uh, that I've never tried. Uh, I think it's kind of new. And then um, some I've already I've seen before. But let's start out. Okay, this has got to be my mystery bag. And it's gold team. Oh man, I wish it was Alabama colors, but it's my mystery bag. It is Deborah Norble's Everyday Soft Worsted Gold Team Anti Peeling. Um, let's see if I can open it. No, oh, I didn't get no Hanks. I saw where some people were getting those beautiful Hanks of yarn, but I didn't get none. Well, all the little thing come off of it, but it is, um, there's the yarn. It's okay colors. I'm not really crazy about them, but it's a number four. Um, this color is Blue Friday, and it's got, um, uh, 180 yards, and I got one, two, three, four, five of them. So, find somebody who likes the blue and green colors. I'll make them something. <laughs> Sit back here. Put that back on there. And then this is my other mystery bag. It's Festive Fibers. Um, Festive, Festival Mixed Fibers. That's pretty. Um, let me open this up. So I can see. Oh, it's not bad. It's not the softest I've ever felt. It's polyester acrylic. Um, it don't say how many yards is on here. But I got, it's a 50 gram, 50 gram balls made in Turkey. Uh, the color or nothing but it's like grays and blacks so I got that and then I ordered me some more of this um because I made a top I think it was Darla's top I made from Crafty Yarn Owl out of this and I wanted to get some more of this color I think it was her top I made out of it and then I think this is new so I wanted to uh try it uh, it's cotton collage, and I can't remember. 
And they didn't put no packing slip or nothing in there. So I can't remember how much this was. But it was on sale. And I love these colors. I got four of these. This color. But ain't that pretty? It is um, 246 yards. So it's a thin yarn. It's a number one super fine. Machine wash warm and tumble dry medium. Oh, I love those colors. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I got four of those. And um, then I got two of this color. Ooh. I think I like this color better than I do that one. Very pretty. Um, let's see. Colors. Does it tell the color? I guess it's just got the color. Oh, brown multi. And this is party multi. Those are pretty. Y'all need to try them. But I'd wait and get them when they're on sale. Can't remember how much they were. But they were on sale when I bought them. But I don't know if they're still on sale now or not. But, uh, so I was hoping I'd get some Hanks. Um... Some of those pretty Hanks people were getting. But I only bought two of the mystery bags. But I mean, they're okay. I mean, I, I mean, it's not... I don't think I would have ordered this color and stuff if I had... I mean, I love blacks and grays. And, but I mean, I don't... You know, I don't know if I would have ordered it. To be ordering it. But I wanted to get on and show, show y'all um, some of that. Um... So, so y'all could see the mystery bags, which it took me a while to get it. And, uh, but I think that's about all I got to share. Um, let's see. Y'all don't forget to check out Wool Makes Crochet Channel and, um, Brittany from Alabama and also Cindy Moulter, which probably most of y'all know Cindy, but if not, go check out Cindy Moulter's channel. Um, also, um, Madonna, she uh she does that yarny good news and I love that. And she always has prayer prayer requests and prayer a prayer list and I love that because you know like I've always said we could all use prayers. So check out Madonna Ballard's yarny good news um and see what's going on in the crochet world. She kind of keeps us up to date on everything. And also, don't forget about the hashtag Christmas and July Fairies giveaway that's going on. Um, just go in your search bar and search hashtag Christmas and July Fairies. And all the videos should come up. Go and, and subscribe to their channel and leave a comment on their video. And you'll be entered into this humongous uh, giveaway that uh, we're all that we're, we're having. And Dana at Wonderless Crochet... It's the one that's hosted in order to come up with the idea, which was an awesome idea. This is just something wonderful we can all look forward to doing, something fun. With all the stuff going on in the world, we all need a little fun and a little something nice to look forward to. And so each of us people who put out a video will draw from our videos uh, a, a name uh, on July the 15th and then we'll send that name over to Dana at Wonderless Crochet and she it, you'll be putting the big giveaway and um, so it's just you know I think it's over 130 videos out there and uh, so you'll have like way many chances to win if you go and you enter each one it's free to enter but uh, you have to be 18 years or older and um, just go check it out but Dana, she'll explain it all. So go look up Dana at Wonderless Crochet, which I'm sure you all probably know her and her Christmas and um, July Fairies um, video, and she'll explain it all to y'all. Well, I got to get off of here. I think my granddaughter is needing me. She's out there waiting on me. And uh, But I love you all. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a yarny friends so hit that subscribe button down below this video if you like my videos give me a thumbs up leave comments because i love hearing from everybody 
Also, I have an Etsy shop. I love Loopy Crochet, and I'll leave a, a link to my Etsy shop down below. Um, I think that's about it. I hope I didn't forget anything, but I love you all so much. And uh, I just thank you again for being a part of my channel and being one of my friends. I love you all so much, and y'all take care. Have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye, y'all. Love you.